All right, so yeah, uh, a related test to comparison test is the limit comparison test. <clears throat> and uh, here's, here's how, that, how that limit comparison test works. <clears throat> Suppose again, two series, you got uh, A sub n and your B sub n series. Suppose those are series with um, positive terms. So that's same, same as the comparison test. <coughs> if here's where it differs then. If the limit as n goes to infinity of the a sub n divided by b sub n. So we're going to take the two expressions there, divide them, <clears throat> a sub n divided by b sub n, then take the limit. If that equals c, where c is a finite number and c is greater than zero, so you got a finite number and it's positive greater than zero, then either both series converge or both diverge. <clears throat> so either they both diverge or they both converge. And so the benefit of that is if I know what one of them does, if this, you know, if these two if things are true, if I know one of them converges, then I know the other one converges. Or if I know one of them diverges, then I know the other one diverges. So that's how this test works. <laughs> okay? So it's kind of a little more open-ended than the comparison test, but because the comparison test yeah, you had one converge, but then you had to have this other thing be true, or diverge, and then this other. This doesn't have, it just has to be, you got a limit, and you know both of them do the same thing. <coughs> All right, so yeah, let's go back to that previous one, uh, the last one we talked about with the comparison test. The limit, sorry, the series is, um, 1 over 2 to the n minus 1. So was that the one? Yeah. That series right there. So comparison test did not work on that. So let's try the uh, limit comparison test. LCT. You can read the A if you want to. <coughs> All right, um, so yeah, all you have to do on, on the uh, limit comparison test is just, uh, well, we do need the B sub n. This is the A sub n series. And so the B sub n series, um, same thing. Just chop down the A sub n leading terms. 1 over 2 to the n, which you've already talked about. It's 1 half to the n, so that's a geometric series, r equals a half, that converges. Okay, <clears throat> beats the convergence series. So the limit comparison test, now we look at the limit as n goes to infinity of the a sub n divided by b sub n. Well, in this case, that would be limit as n goes to infinity. a sub n is 1 over 2 to the n minus 1 divided by the b sub n, which is 1 over 2 to the n. Now we would, again, you know, we had that, we'd look at it like that for that purpose, but uh, for this purpose, I would go back to the original, if you will, <clears throat> for that, that step anyway. Figure out that little limit. Well, usually, uh, <clears throat> what you want to do is think of this, so this is 1 over 2 to the n minus 1, divided by 1 over 2 to the n, right? Another way to write it. Well, that's 
the limit as n goes to infinity, 1 over 2 to the n minus 1, times 2 to the n minus, uh, divided by 1, the reciprocal times together. And so what we've got here, right, is the limit as n goes to infinity <coughs> of 2 to the n over 2 to the n minus 1. Okay. Well, <coughs> you got to figure out that limit. And <coughs> probably there are a couple ways to do it. Here's one, one way. Um, you could look, use lobby tile, but <coughs> think about this. Sometimes we can just do it by our little divide trick. <coughs> Since we're going to infinity, we can uh, divide top and bottom by the same thing. Let's divide top and bottom by 2 to the n, which that makes this the limit as n goes to infinity. 2 to the n divided by 2 to the n is 1, 2 to the n divided by 2 to the n is 1, and then minus 1 <coughs> divided by 2 to the n. Sets up a pretty good easy little limit because the top goes to 1, the bottom goes to 1 minus 0, because that's 1 over infinity. That's 0, that's 1. <coughs> now, for this limit comparison test to work, what do we need? We needed this limit to be equal to what? Some number, some finite number that's greater than zero. One, I believe that's greater than zero. What does that mean? <clears throat> that means, so both series converge or diverge. Well, I just so happen to know my B sub n converges. So since our B sub n series converges, so does this uh, A sub n series. So, conclusion, the series, the A sub n series, 1 over 2 to the n minus 1, converges by LCT. Least limit comparison. <clears throat> yes? Do with that? Okay. okay. <clears throat> now here's uh, here's what we can do with this. It can we can really get uh, crazy, I guess, if you will, on, uh, if you notice, we, we kind of expanded it, uh, well, that one didn't work for the limit comparison test, but we just kind of expanded a little bit beyond uh, what we could do previously with comparison test, but limit comparison test, uh, we can do all sorts. All right, so this one, the series 2n plus 1 over n squared plus 2n minus 1. Okay, so we got all sorts of things going on, top and bottom. <clears throat> 2n plus 1 on top, n squared plus 2n minus 1 on the bottom. Yeah, that, I probably wouldn't recommend the comparison test on that. The limit comparison test is, uh, I don't want to say a better test, or probably more useful, but, you know, I have you do comparison and limit comparison on the test, so you got to know both of them. Um, <clears throat> so try... Uh, Try both of them, but yeah, this one's probably definitely uh, limit comparison test is the way to go here. So that's the A sub n series. The B sub n would be, yeah, I'll just condense that down, leading terms. So the leading term on top is 2n, bottom is n squared. Uh, well, that simplifies. Just be 2 over n, wouldn't it? Which we had that one. A little out of here, yes. Comparison test one. That's the harmonic series, right? Uh, the P series. P equals 1. <coughs> That's diverge. So we got B sub n diverge. <coughs> so the limit comparison test, we do the limit of A sub n 
divided by b sub. See what that gets us. So that'd be the limit as n goes to infinity. Let's a sub n, 2n plus 1, divided by n squared plus 2n minus 1. Uh, yeah, on this one, you could do either one, but that would probably be the better one of the two. <clears throat> you could go back to that one, but it probably makes it uh, easier with the 2 over n one. Okay? Well, what I'm going to do with that is uh, do the reciprocal of that and multiply. So it would be 2n plus 1 divided by n squared plus 2n minus 1 times the reciprocal n over 2. <coughs> and so then we can just distribute those two in there so we limit as n goes to infinity. 2n squared plus n would be the top, right? And the bottom would be 2n squared plus 4n minus 2. In our little trick divided by uh, largest power in the denominator works out, doesn't it? Because that'd be the limit as n goes to infinity. It'd be 2 plus 1 over n <coughs> divided by 2 plus 4 over n minus 2 over n squared. Yeah, that's 2 plus 0 over 2 plus 0 minus 0. 2 over 2, that's 1. Good, I'll erase the test. Yeah, as long as it's a finite number and it's greater than zero, we're good to go. What does this mean? Well, <clears throat> this limit is finite, greater than zero. B sub n divergent. A sub n is divergent too. n plus 1 divided by n squared plus 2n minus 1 diverges by the limit conversion test. It's a good idea that since we're getting all these tests to specify which which test you're thinking you're using right there. Okay? <clears throat> B spin diverges, limits finite greater than zero. A spin's got a number. Yes? Okay. We got one more <clears throat> for you. I'll try to put it there. But. So that's, that's our A sub n series. <clears throat> B sub n, what's it going to be? So the leading coefficients, and I guess I did these in mixed up order. Uh, the top is, uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but it could. The top, you got 3n is the leading term. It doesn't have to be the first term. It's the, the largest power term on the top divided by the leading term on the bottom, which is n cubed. So that's 3 over n squared. Which what kind of series is that? P series. P series. P series <coughs> P equals 2. And P series, if P is greater than 1, the series 
Converges, right? That converges. All right. <clears throat> so again, we've got probably too much on top. Uh, bottom would probably be okay, but with that 100 plus 3n being the top, <coughs> it's probably not good for comparison tests. You know, just kind of thinking through here, which one I, would I prefer? I definitely go with the limit comparison test because the top is a little more complicated than just a number <coughs> there for one term. So uh, yeah, limit comparison test. So I'm going to pair the limits as n goes to infinity of a sub n over b sub n. One more time, uh, one of those. And so that would be the 100 plus 3n over n cubed plus 2 divided by b sub n. And again, I would go 3 over n squared. We could just, uh, you know, it's always going to be the same basic structure here, so you might just jump to this. Divide by b sub n means multiply by the reciprocal of b sub n, so it would be n squared over 3, what I multiply by there, the reciprocal of that. <coughs> we cut to that uh, part, because that's usually what these are structured like. we be multiplying by that reciprocal right there. Um, <coughs> Anyway, all right, so it works out basically like our other one does. 100, be 100 in squared, plus 3 in cubed, 3 in cubed on the bottom, plus 2, plus 6. Yeah, nothing really. <coughs> Fancy here, just. Uh, yeah, divide by the n cubed. Gets me the limit as n goes to infinity. 100 over n plus 3. 3 plus 6 over n cubed. That goes to 0. So be 0 plus 3 on top. 3 plus 0. So again, we get the 3 over 3. <coughs> which is what, what we want. Finite number, a lot of times it is one. But any finite number, I mean, if we had, uh, like up here if I had chosen, um, just instead, of, if I left off the three there, made that a one, um, I believe what we would have gotten there would have been three over one, so I'd been three. So, you know, it, it could be a number greater than one, <clears throat> but a lot of times, if you choose them like this, it'll be one. Um, but as long as that's finite, it's not infinity, greater than zero, it's not zero, <clears throat> um, that fact and then this fact tells me then the A sub n series converge, right? Today. Okay. <laughs> We're done.